Hi lovelies, it's me, Simply Sherry, helping you make home and entertaining simple. If you're new to this channel and you like organizing, decluttering, and entertaining videos, please consider subscribing. That is what I do on my channel. Once a year, I have a work conference in Prague, which I am so grateful for. I've been able to go to Vienna and to London along with Prague because of my work. And this year, I will be adding a trip to Budapest. So it'll be three days in Prague, five days in Budapest. And I'm so excited because I will be bringing my daughter with me. She's now a teenager and it's her first time to Europe. So that is double exciting. Yes, I've traveled alone and I know what it's like. It does get lonely, but it is also nice because you're only thinking about yourself, what you want to eat, what you want to see, where you want to go. But now it's, I think it's going to be extra special that I get to bring my daughter and show her this beautiful city of Prague because it is absolutely gorgeous there. If you could ever take a trip to Prague, I'm telling you, go to Prague. Here are my top five tips for packing light. My first tip is plan your itinerary. I plan from the moment I leave my home all the way back when I come back to my home airport and come back home. I plan my transportation from the airport to the hotel or Airbnb and vice versa. I plan how do I get from Prague to Budapest? Am I taking the plane? Am I taking a train or a bus? And then I plan if I'm taking the public transportation within the city. Do I need a three-day pass, a two-day pass? Am I going to pay on the way? Do I need it to be validated? Are there cobblestone streets that I'll be walking on if I'm taking those walking tours? Sometimes a walking tour is two hours, one hour, three hours. They even have like the long six-hour tours with like an hour lunch break. So I don't know. I've taken a three-hour walking tour twice in one day, two different tours. I was tired. So I know I'm not gonna do that again. So when you're planning these tours, like a walking tour, what bag am I going to bring with me? Am I going to have a shopping day and I need reusable bags? Do I need to create space in my luggage for the things that I'm going to bring back? If I don't have a lot of space in my luggage, which I won't, do I need to go shopping? Or if I go shopping, what small items would I like to get? because I will be bringing those back. And if, I, if there's any liquids that you'll be bringing back, will those have to be checked in? So that's part of the itinerary that you have to think about. Do you need a portable charger? Because you will be out all day and you're gonna be using your camera phone all day. Do you need a hard copy of your reservations and your itinerary in case you can't pull it up on your phone for whatever reason, like there's no Wi-Fi or your battery runs out? I like to keep a hard copy of all my reservations, tickets, tours, everything you can think about on that trip. I like to staple it and keep it with me. Also, in your itinerary, are you going to be visiting places where there's a dress code? Example, visiting churches, do you need to cover your shoulders, your knees, your head? Maybe you're going to a show, like I had gone to the Prague Ballet, I went to an opera in Vienna, so I figured out an outfit where I can transition from the day outfit straight to that show and having the appropriate dress. Think about each day in your itinerary from morning to evening. How would you move about? How would you get from one place to another? Where would you check in? What would you eat? What would you be doing? And then pack accordingly. Number two is check the weather. Weather.com is awesome. You can see the weather predicted for 10 days ahead. Now, if you're like me and you pack more than 10 days ahead or you're planning how to pack, you're not gonna see the weather for a month later, but you can go back to the year prior and see what the average temperature was for that month. And it's pretty reliable. Other things you may wanna think about when you're checking the weather is do you want to bring a sweater? Do you wanna bring a scarf? Do you wanna bring a hoodie? If the weather calls for sunscreen or bug repellent. Number three, no one remembers what you wore. Okay, let me repeat that. No one remembers what you wore, okay? Unless you are in the fashion industry or you're a fashion influencer, you don't need a different outfit every day, okay? I, I don't remember what I wore last year. I have to look at old pictures to remember, okay? And even if you follow me on Instagram and I might post a picture, maybe the same jacket I had two years ago, it's okay, because I love that jacket but you're not gonna remember what I wore. I don't remember what my favorite mommy vlogger wore, do you? From her last trip to wherever she went, right? You don't remember that. Even the travel vloggers, I don't remember what they wore. And they're always showing their whole body and outfit 
on their trips, right? I mean, what people appreciate if you post on Instagram or Facebook or even on YouTube is that you got to go to the place. And of course you've got those uh, wonderful fashion influencers who get to travel and they have beautiful outfits, right? Okay, that's fantastic. But for someone like me, who is there for a work conference, going with my daughter, enjoying my time with her, experiencing the culture and the history, I don't have to worry about my outfit and if I wore the same thing two days in a row. Unless you've walked for six hours, you definitely wanna have a different outfit or at least a clean one. I mean, honestly, do you remember what you wore? Do you remember what your colleague wore? Do you remember what your favorite Instagrammer wore last week that was on her post? We don't, so no one remembers what you wore. It's okay. You don't have to have a different outfit every day. Number four, plan for laundry. This was a game changer for me. Now, hotels, I've never used the laundry facilities there because they're expensive. I mean, some hotels, depending on what category hotel you go to, they have the coin-operated laundry. But since I started using Airbnb, a lot of the private apartments have a laundry machine in the apartment. So in when I went to Vienna and Prague, I used the laundry machine. Now you have to spin it a lot and hang dry it and that was the same for Manila and also in Tokyo. So this is what I've done and what you can do is to plan for five days of outfits for a 10 day trip. I use the first four days of outfits. That fourth day, I wash those four outfits. I have one extra outfit, right? Because I planned for five outfits. I use that for the fifth day while those clothes are drying. And then I have a fresh set of four outfits for the rest of the trip. And then I'd have one outfit that I'd have to repeat that doesn't get washed. My fifth and last tip is to lessen the bulky pieces. You've probably heard that before, but it works. You wear your bulkiest shoes, you wear your jacket, you can wear your sweater, okay? Depending on how hot it is in the airplane or the airport, you just have to consider, you know, you could take off those layers and use what you need. But don't put those in your luggage because those take up a lot of space. The other thing you can do to lessen the bulky pieces is to have one less pair of shoes. A tip is to put small items like socks and underwear in the cavity of the shoes that cavity is already taking space, so might as well fill that up. So those are my five tips for packing light. Number one, plan your itinerary. Number two, check the weather. Number three, no one remembers what you wore. Number four, plan for laundry. And number five, lessen the bulky pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below and let me know how you pack light. Please make sure to check out the next video where I show you what I actually packed for my 10-day trip and I will see you in the next one. Bye.